Justice Jones, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for thanks for being on the show. So, uh, cosplayer, makeup artist, special special effects makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Um, I think uh, so. I was shooting. I, I well, we're continuing to produce this web series, but it's about. Uh, I think I met you at a at a at a Comic Con or something. You were playing Captain Marvel, I believe, and uh, <laughs> I got Probably. a lot. Either it was either Captain Marvel or Black Widow. I know you were you. There was you you and like some. Uh, there was about four of you in a in a group, and I just shot everybody doing like crazy, crazy oh, poses and stuff like that. I remember the, it was Captain America, Black Widow. Um, yep. Captain Marvel and Bucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I remember. Yeah, that was um, Marilyn uh, yep. Comic Con. Yep, Marilyn. One of those. One of the Comic Cons at the Gaylord in Marilyn, the Gaylord uh, Hotel. Yeah. On the waterfront there at the in Maryland, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy! All the cons are blending together. Oh well, yeah. I mean, well, they were for us for a while until the pandemic, and then there's absolutely nothing going on. So exactly. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, but um, yeah. So, uh, tell me a little bit more about who you are, what you do, what you've been up to. So I'm Justice. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am a cosplayer, makeup artist. Um, I go to Douglas and hopefully will be a makeup artist in the future. Um, I love being a makeup artist. It is so much fun. But because uh, of the pandemic, we can't work on each other. We have to work on mannequin heads. And okay. it's so frustrating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you said it was Tom Savini's program at Douglas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So Tom Savini, most notable for like the the Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, mm -hmm. From Dust Till Dawn. I think Walking Dead, right? Was he? Did he have hands on in Walking Dead, or or is that just uh, Nicotero? Maybe. Maybe I got to meet him. He's a really dope guy. I, His trip. Oh, uh, he is so chill, laid back. It was great. Yeah, he was all. Oh, that, that he was also. He had also hands on with the the remake of the of Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, he he's a trip. He always has like a stipulation where you know he'll do special effects makeup for a production, but if he can have a part in the film yes. as well. So that was uh that was uh George Romero's you know big thing with him is like yeah come on I'll I'll give you a part as like some crazy redneck or. I know in the Dawn of the Dead remake, he was he was that sheriff that was on the news. He was like, "You got to shoot him in the head. You got to shoot him in the head." George yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Romero also has a program here. It's George Romero's uh, filmmaking program. Mm -hmm. so, is so what is Douglas? What is it? Is it's all? It's like the the zombie equivalent of filmmaking only. <laughs> so. Douglas is a trade school. It has okay. many different trades. So there's Tom Savini's makeup program, George A. Romero's filmmaking program. There's cosmetology, CDL, truck driving, <laughs> massage therapy, uh, early nursing. The list just goes on. So pretty much all these trades could go into the film film industry obviously george romero's filmmaking the truck driving we trucker we need truckers we need cosmetologists we need special effects makeup we need filmmakers obviously in the film industry mm -hmm. massage therapists would love to have a massage therapist on set you know like you're on your feet 24 7 oh yeah Co cosmetology what was the other one nursing oh, nursing yeah, yeah yeah people get people get fucked up all the time on set break break legs and stuff you need nurses on set yeah oh yeah <laughs> so oh, yes yeah. yeah, so, so uh how you, you kind of touched upon a little bit but how would you say you've been impacted by the current state of affairs aside from uh having to put special effects makeup on mannequins we hate the mannequin heads so much we always make jokes that we're when we don't need them anymore we're gonna punt them and use them as footballs <laughs> mm -hmm. um so everyone has to wear a mask obviously we're in our masks all class like, unless we go out for breaks. Each class is about five hours long. Um, I'm taking sculpting, anatomy, <laughs> special effects, uh, with foundations of special effects, foundations of cosmetology, as, is there one more I'm missing? 
feel like I'm missing one. No, I think that's all of them. Yes, that's all of them. Um, but I'm working on multiple different projects at a time. I just finished, um, it's called the food project. I just finished the food project where we have to make a makeup look and a scene and we have to incorporate food of some kind. So I okay. used the bat. I made a humanoid bat and used um, spaghetti, corn syrup, coffee grounds, and other uh, materials to put it together. And it was very creepy, but I loved <laughs> it. So mostly mostly like horror-based stuff, I guess, since Tom Savini's running it. Oh, yeah. Gory. Oh, yeah. Halloween time. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Is yeah. when you want to come and visit. Yeah. How, well, how else have you been impacted, I'd say, by the quarantine? Oh, um, I would, hmm. besides that, we have to wear a mask and social distancing, especially um, in the classroom and outside. Uh, we don't really get to be as much hands on with each other because um, how they normally would do it, you would do the makeup on another person mm -hmm. but now it's okay do it on this mannequin head and for homework do it on yourself or another person take a picture and, and show us yeah. and just uh just a lot of crazy stuff because i live in manesson pa okay which is one of the scariest towns known to man why is that it's just sketchy so many abandoned buildings. There's a siren that goes off every night at 9.42 p.m. or at random times of the night. I live right next to it. Um, this place is just terrifying, but Douglas is here, so that's why I stay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. What'd you, what'd you call it? Manassan? Manassan. Manassan? Okay. Manassan, PA. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. I was a little... Look, look into Manesson. What is that crime? High crime rate, or just it's just weird. It's just terrifying. Like you go through, and it looks like a ghost town. Okay. How do you spell it? M O N E S S E O N. E O N. Huh. Okay. It does look kind of like it's like an industrial. It used to be, and then it slowly just went downhill. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of a lot of good opportunity to like shoot some creepy stuff there. Oh yeah, like if you want to shoot some creepy stuff or want to get nice um, scenery or a background, mm -hmm. yes, especially in the alleyways, yes, definitely. Yeah, like all these. Uh... Abandoned buildings, yeah. Uh, that that so does look, that looks, looks a little, the, one, looks... the one that you were just on, uh, the one above, the one that you clicked, that one? Yeah. So that, that used to be an old pharmacy, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's an abandoned pharmacy, abandoned hotel, um, which recently some rubble came off. Jeez. That's that's great. There's an abandoned uh, bowling alley called Fat Pockets. That's abandoned. So what does this turn to Trump? Like Trump was supposed to do something with it? Oh, they turned to Trump. Two years later. Okay. It's, it's still a mixed I'm bag. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> There's a pre president John F. Kennedy delivers remarks. In your town. Oh. Oh, the Super AP Market. That's where um, Foodland is. And they have amazing food. It looks sketchy, <laughs> but they have the most amazing food known to man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's definitely, like, a lot of uh, promise there to, like, go there and shoot some crazy stuff. and. Oh, yeah. A lot of cool background for your for your for your submissions, you know, like oh. do some crazy stuff on a mannequin and use it, use all that stuff in the background. Oh yeah. It's yeah. great. Like you'll just walk around and 
<laughs> one time we were out on break and we walked down an alley to go to a food land and there was a condom filled with blood on the ground that was broken. And I was like, what the hell is that? I look, picked it up. It's fake, guys. We're at Douglas. What do you expect? It's fake. Uh, that's wild. That's wild. So has there, so, you know, speaking of horror, speaking of like fake blood, has there been a film or a series of films or like a Netflix series been binge watching, binge studying just to escape mm. or learn from or, or be inspired mm. by? Um, I would definitely have to say like Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and Star Wars, which are my favorites and Marvel definitely took off, um, learning stuff from there, especially making prosthetics or making cuts and burns and how to make them look realistic. Um, also in class, we look up uh, reference photos and try to copy that. Okay. Marvel and, and Star Wars especially. Yeah, I think I've spent a lot of time on Disney Plus this last six months, especially with The Mandalorian. Oh, yes. That's like, that's like the number one right now is Mandalorian. Drives me, it drives me nuts. Like, I hate streaming shows that, that release weekly. You know, I just, I, I, just want the whole, I just want the whole series, like, right away, making me wait. Yeah. Another, know, drive, <laughs> another one of my favorite shows that just ended is Supernatural. Again? Didn't they bring it back? Or did uh, it end again? It ended. So it was originally supposed to end in season three with the mystery spot. Oh, right because of a lot of filming strikes and then it was okay. like all right i think we're in the clear let's make a few more seasons but they just ended at season 15 mm -hmm. season 15 right they were supposed to end mm -hmm. at season three you said right mm -hmm. right and went freaking 12 more seasons i mean i hear a lot of great things about that show i don't think i can i don't think i can dedicate 15 seasons though that's it's amazing. That's, They're that's, about 45 minutes per episode, and I've seen pretty much every single one of them except for season 15 because I don't want my heart broken. Right. But there's a lot of cool um, makeup looks, and even with the bits of CGI in it, but still, like, a lot of them are practical effects and prosthetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, 15 seasons, that's like a full-time job almost. <laughs> Trying to catch up with something like that. Like, I don't have to get paid for that. I'm gonna have to get, gonna have to get paid for that. <laughs> so uh, what's what's next on the agenda? What's the next set of goals? What's next on the agenda for Justice Jones? Say six months to a year from now. Ooh, um, I would still be at Douglas. I'm here for two years. So definitely okay. trying to get my foot in the door um, with um, making more cosplays and really getting my name out there. Uh, I am in a uh, web series called the Dark Web Collectives. Hasn't been released yet. <laughs> We're getting there. Um, but I went to, it was like a little mini, it was called Monster Fest. It was super tiny. It was adorable. Um, I was dressed up as a Playboy Bunny, but Purge Edition. And my friend was dressed up as Beetlejuice. We walk, uh, we're walking around and these guys came up like, Hey, can we get your picture? I was like, heck yeah. So we get the picture. They're like, this looks really dope. Come back the next day. And we're like, hey, do you want to see some of our makeups? They're like, uh, yes. So we showed them a few of our makeup looks. And they're like, do you want to be part of our web series? We <laughs> preferred I would look at each other and said, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So not only are we makeup artists for that, we are um, also part of it and actors in it. So being a makeup artist while also having actor background, I was in 14 productions. I did pretty much everything. Definitely has, definitely helps a lot because you know the makeup side as well as the actor side. Okay, what was the name of that web series? Uh, Dark Web Collectives. Dark Web Collectives, okay. I'm gonna have to look. But you said it's not out yet. It's not out yet, but um, we do have some Instagram pages of it. You can uh, look it up on Instagram, Dark Web Collectives. It should be there. Okay. All right. 
So two more years at, at, at Douglas. What else? What else is what else is on the agenda? Let's go further. Like maybe you know, what, what's what's the plan once you uh, you know, come finish at Douglas? Uh, I'm hoping to go more in doing a uh, professional cosplay, professional makeup artist, just basically bouncing films, TV shows, basically wherever they want me, I'm down. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely, definitely, definitely. So. When you think of, when you hear the phrase new normal, what comes to mind? New normal is basically like, what comes to my mind is this is happening. It's going to stay for a while. It, we're going to have to get used to it. And it's just going to be become an everyday thing, like the new normal, as it says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So like more hybrid, more half virtual, half hands-on, more streaming, I guess, like more home entertainment. Definitely. Like bandwidth and internet skyrockets, right. obviously. Everything slows down. Nobody's outside. Like you just look outside. If Manessa wasn't a ghost town already, there's nobody outside. Well, there's a lot of potential to shoot stuff there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've taken a few photos um, outside in alleyways and in the buildings that we could get into. Definitely amazing shots. But, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, have, you, have you been partaking in any of the virtual Comic-Cons? Like, the, the, most Comic-Cons have gone virtual and they have, like, you know, guests, I guess, video chatting or whatever. Like, all the I've... celebrity guests. I've definitely looked into it, but there are always the days where I'm either in class or busy with projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it's tricky trying to like integrate, you know, the, the whole hybrid virtual, I mean, but it, but it does seem like a lot of, you know, more famous guests, for example, I think it was galaxy con had the whole cast of Adam's family, including mm -hmm. Christina Ricci and Christopher Lloyd. And I don't know if, uh, and I don't know if Angelica Houston did it, but everybody just jumped on a webcam. It seemed like everybody mm -hmm. was a, much more uh, available to jump on Zoom and partake in these right. guest appearances at these Comic Cons now since they're virtual. Right. It's definitely a lot easier because all you got to do is just hop on a computer, turn your webcam on, hop on a computer, and you're good to go instead of flying somewhere, spending hundreds or even thousands on plane tickets, hotel actually uh, meeting the people. Now it's just, oh, let's hop on the computer. And, oh, there's the person. Yeah. So, uh, you, well, you mentioned some productions you were in. What, what productions, you said 14 productions. What, what were those? So those were high school, middle school theater. Just a lot of shows. I was makeup artist, onstage actress. Um, on stage manager, backstage manager, props, costumes, assistant director, um, set design, basically everything except for directing. Wearing all the hats except for, except for yeah. No, I, I've de definitely had to do that a number of times in some like ultra independent, low budget productions before. Oh yeah, those yeah. are always the best. <laughs> Well, they can be. I mean, it, it depends. It depends on what you're putting together and, and stuff like that. But um, I mean, it, it gets a little frustrating when you're putting on a bunch of hats and then the thing never sees the light of day. Oh, yeah. Um, those productions, um, like it was on stage. It, it was stressful because I was at school, a full time student from 820 Sometimes didn't leave till nine or 10 o'clock, go home, do homework, uh, and then repeat it. Three shows a year. So we had to rehearse it, build the set, do the production, tear down the set. That three times a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's stage. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I, I did, you know, some stage stuff in high school also, and I, but once college hit, it was all film. I, I don't think I have the, the, uh, the endurance or the patience for theater. 
especially as especially yeah. acting you know you gotta you better nail it like the first time right oh yeah uh, there's the definitely oh, no uh, go ahead there's, there's definitely a difference between uh film and tv shows and theater there's a di there's a huge difference because in film it's like oh i didn't like that cut let's do it again yeah or can we change the camera angle on this? In theater, you don't have that. You can't say in the middle of a show, I didn't like that. You messed up your line. Go back. Oh, go back. Let, ignore what I, ignore. I just messed it up. Let's go back. You know, you can't do <laughs> Let's that. Let's go back. And if I, have, yes, with, with film, you know, you're, you have way more control. It's way more, you know, oh, yeah. uh, controlled. And yeah, theater, man, that's a stressful a live, live crowd right there. It's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Actually, definitely, our, it's... our stage was in a gym, and we had to put the mats down that were are older than me. We had to build the set, put up the curtains, uh, build the um, bleachers with the chairs, and the um, audience is pretty much 10 feet in front of you from the um, end of the stage, and it's 10 feet in front of you. So... Like the makeup had to be good. Um, like you can't, you can't cheat it because they're so close. Um, and you do have to be careful with a lot of things. Like uh, I was in Three Musketeers and we had actual sword fighting. Like you have to be very careful because swords are flying. We're doing heavy swings and heavy choreographing. And we don't want to accidentally whack somebody in the face mm -hmm. with a sword. Oh, like the plastic swords or metal swords? Oh, they were metal rapiers. Uh huh. Like and with I a tip a... on it, like with a little yeah, ball. With... They had yeah, a ball tip on it, right? It didn't have a ball tip. These were legit. Jesus. And we took one class that was an hour long on how to use them. <laughs> just cram, <laughs> just cram in the, just just cram on the safety part, right? Pretty much. Yeah. And they just wing it. They fake. Fake it till you make it, I guess, right? Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. not it's not very safe, but I guess, you know, for the for the for the sake of budget and time, we gotta like rock this oh, out. Oh yeah. Especially in Spam a lot, where I play like four different characters. One of them was the Knight of Knee. I was the Knight of Knee. Mm -hmm. I had one month to learn to walk on drywall stilts with practically a burlap sack over me, a helmet, and a staff. So what is Spamalot? So uh, Spamalot is a spoof of Mighty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, okay. So I was like Brother Maynard, a dead body, um, a townsperson in Finland in the Night of Knee. So you see me running backstage when I'm not in my stilts, trying to put on uh, costumes, putting on everyone's makeup, Especially in the first bit where we had to go from a townsperson and the next scene is we have to beat dead bodies. So we have to quickly change our costumes. I got to put makeup on myself and five other people to make us look dead. Okay. That's a musical version of the Holy Grail. Pretty much. And oh, it's okay. hysterical. It's such a good show. Yeah. I love the, I love the movie, Holy Grail. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But uh, I'll definitely have to check out Spam a lot. So if, if there's so, you know, you know from I, I met you from cosplaying. If if you what's your, what's your like favorite top three, Ooh. you know, characters to cosplay? Ooh, that's hard. I would have to say Quiet from Metal Gear Solid, Trico from The Last Guardian, and ooh, I would probably have to say Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Okay. I think I have you with the Scarlet Witch here. Is this it? Yeah, I think that's you. I can't tell. You're so good at the makeup. I can't. Uh, but I'm, ass <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that's you. Yep, that's me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Is that? That's Kylo Ren. Kylo. Oh, Kylo, Kylo. Ren. Oh, okay. Oh, from Star Wars? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He did like a feminine version. Oh, okay. No, no, who did no you mentioned you mentioned somebody from Metal Gear Solid? Mm-hmm. Who Quiet from 
quiet. 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 Oh, I know who I know who you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. A lot of bad uh they they got they got super pissed off at that role because it was so they, they made a big they made a big hubbub about uh how sexist it was or something. Um if you exit out of this photo and you scroll up um, those are, it's like a compilation of cosplays. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> oh, oh, there, there it is. is. So those are, so far, like, then was the nine cosplays that I've done. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they so, that's, talk so that's quiet with the big gun on her shoulder? Um, I made, I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, I made that out of cardboard and duct tape and paint. With the gun, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, me and some colleagues, we went to a lot of uh, you know comic cons, you know, film and cosplayers. We have we we'll, where we have a web series. Um, so I definitely got plenty of footage of you as Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm assuming that was from was that from the same comic con at the Gaylord in Maryland. So that photo was actually taken with a couple of friends. Uh, Fred Holt, love him, such an amazing guy. Uh, that's my friends and I uh, is actually Comrade America. I think you met him. So this he he was the he was Captain America, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. Who's this supposed to be? So that's quiet. We decided. Oh, yeah. oh let's do like a <laughs> spicy version <laughs> of quiet. Uh huh. Oh, and that then I, fun. I see what she did here with the, the uh, is this tissue paper or something as her it's, power? Um, it was, I think it's called tinsel, not tinsel. Um, I, for I forgot what it's called, but basically I just glued it onto the gloves and I um, made it small enough where if I balled my fist, I could hide it. Mm -hmm. and if I opened my hands, it would puff out. Right. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. You learn yeah. to be very crafty. Well, yeah, from an independent, yeah, from an independent film standpoint, absolutely. Um, oh yeah. You know, like I, I've seen, you know, I've seen, you know, makeup artists, special effects artists, prop guys, you know, pull off quite a bit from like nothing. Oh yeah, there's me as Trico. So that cosplay took about without the wings about two days to make including the sword, styling the wig, making the top piece. Um, the wings I already had, I just had to spray paint it and add lights to it. And those were movable wings. They were controlled by strings in the back. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, I can't, I can't hear what you're saying, but... Uh... <laughs> This is a lot of crazy photos on my Instagram. That's a, that's another that's another quiet. Mm -hmm. okay. I we were um, I was with Comrade and we were about to leave. I looked over and the sunset was gorgeous. I'm like, oh, please take my picture with the sunset. It is so pretty. Yeah. So you know, like um, me and some colleagues, we put together this web series. Two well, two web series. One's based in the DC universe. One's based in the Marvel universe. And it's so we kind of produced it like. Like those crime shows you might see on ID, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I'll try to find a, a decent episode where we utilized some of the cosplayers. But geez, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Well, especially being a cosplayer, you can do a lot of things, like, you can be hired for. Um, events, cons, um, films, mm -hmm. like photo shoots. It's great. Yeah. So it's, so I don't know if you ever seen those, uh, you know, crime shows on ID, but you know, we basically shot one just like that where, you know, we use like, uh, this is my buddy playing, um, elect Camestro and, you know, uh, some guys doing like 
simple fight scenes and all those crime shows where, you know, the dramatic reenactments, they're all blurry yes. and slow-mo. And, and then, uh, you know, we're all like, and then we're, and then we're playing like the specialist, the criminologist or whatever. Oh my goodness. So it's I just love this. Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's just like those crime shows that you see on ID, but you know, right. if, but like the, I, the pitch is like, you know, Bruce Wayne goes to, uh, Bruce Wayne, you know, goes home, has a cocktail and watches ID. Mm -hmm. What would be on ID or if, you know, Tony Stark right. or if Tony Stark went home, had a cocktail and watched ID, what would those that's shows great. be about? So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of like our premise because I've acted in a bunch of those shows. I played a detective or whatever. And uh i've seen how low budget these shows are and you know what they're what what these production companies are able to pull off with absolutely nothing yeah, exactly. and, so, and so like the two guys you just saw i'm in it, i'm in it also but the two guys you just saw we, we'll go to com we'll go to you know comic cons and and uh you know like film some cosplayers doing some crazy stuff and these are always the best and, and, and it's funny, I, I got you on the podcast here, but I haven't had a chance to use, you know, what little I shot of you. But every time I use somebody, I'll send them, you know, like a link, like, hey, you know, check out, we, we, use, some of the, we use some of the footage we shot of you at the Gaylord, you know, like three, four years ago, whatever the case. And, mm -hmm. you know, definitely give you credit. And I, I pretty, we pretty much, you know, credited everybody in the show that we oh, use. Yeah. So there's that. So uh I know, you know, like, you know, during the quarantine, you know, what what's one last bit of advice, one last what, one last point of advice, one last, you know, point you'd want to make to what few viewers I have on YouTube, I guess. So uh I definitely recommend picking up some hobbies, um, especially during the quarantine. Uh, I definitely uh, practice uh, makeup, making props, making cosplays, filming stuff, putting it on TikTok, making edits. So definitely have fun. Get your makeup palette, get a mirror, a couple brushes, and just have fun. Maybe like put something on in the background. Like uh, for instance, I got bored uh, and made this. It looks like it's made out of. It looks like it's made out of skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just latex and paint. Mm -hmm. So I got bored and made that. So it's really just have fun. It's a sucky time, and especially like. Um, the season's changing, seasonal depression is hitting and for a lot of people and then quarantine depression's hitting and but basically just have fun and do what you can, pick up a hobby and practice. So when the world hopefully goes back to normal, you have new skills to bring out. Absolutely, absolutely. Stay creative, stay productive. Exactly. The, the 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 most we can anyway. I mean, like I definitely did that myself. You know, I had a few projects that needed to be edited, and oh yeah. Once the uh, you know, like well, that show, uh, the second seasons of both Sinister Infinite and Rogues Gallery. You know, like once the quarantine hit, I just sat, I just started knocking out all the editing that needed to get finished oh, yeah. throughout the whole day, and and me and the wife. You know, we, I would take, you know, the nighttime shift with the baby and, and have him in the bassinet right next to the, the computer and just edit and watch him. And I'd stay up all night and, you know, like, it's just like reworking that schedule and we re, oh, yeah. reworking the, uh, you know, trying to get it in where it fits in really, you know, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, any, any last uh, plugs, links, socials you want to put out there? Uh, basically, if you type in alpha mind blow, Alpha like the dog, mind like your brain, and blow like an explosion. Um, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I do a bunch of crazy stuff like makeup, cosplay, other funny sketches, live streams. 
So um, YouTube channel may be coming soon. Who knows? Awesome. I mean, now's the time to knock it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. YouTube channel, web series, all that stuff. I mean, like, definitely, like, this is the hybrid time now to oh, yeah. just start mixing up different ideas and just putting them out there. Definitely. And uh, so before before I let you go, I got to ask about one last, uh, hold on, where's this thing at? One last picture, if I can bring it up. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this looks like a Hydra agent. Oh, yeah. Captain Hydra. That was, oh, my Captain first, Hydra. that was my first Marvel cosplay. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> there it is. So Captain Hydra. Okay. Captain Hydra. I still have that shield. I got an original Captain America shield, painted it, got the suit. Um, I painted it black and red, put the patch on, and uh, did my makeup, which took about maybe 10 minutes max. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, sometimes going to these, co going to these comic cons is, is, is just a blast in and of itself. Oh, yeah. I've Same made like so many good friends, like Comrade America, he's my best friend. And I met him at Baltimore Comic Con because I was cosplaying Captain Hydra. He was cosplaying as Captain America. They're like, hey, do you want to, like, take pictures of the fight scene? Heck, yeah. Hey, you're really cool. Do you want to hang out for the rest of the day? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I've met a lot of my friends. But, at, you know, yeah, um, as like, you know, as an indie filmmaker, I'm meeting a lot of make, cool makeup artists and, and trying to, like, you know, network with, you know, like just the pr props, costumes, and makeup. Oh yeah. Is 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 you know, I mean it's cool to meet some of the celebrities there that might be doing guest speakings and signings. And uh, I've networked with a couple of comic, comic book artists and writers. But over the I think over the past ten years, really what the whole thing turned into like a cosplay convention, really more than a comic comic convention. Oh yeah, especially Katsukon, which is like the cosplay convention of the world. What's it called? Like, Katsukon. So I think they had that at the Gaylord not too long ago. Like they had it in February, right? Of this year, 2020? Was I it in believe... January or February? I think it was January because MAGFest was right before that. Right. Which is super laid back, chill. It was great. Then Katsukon, take MAGFest, double it by 20. Yep. Then you have Katsu. Yeah. So Katsukon and MAGFest, I, mean, I got a lot of footage. It was just like nonstop. Like oh, I had yeah. I had to I had to leave and it was it, I had to leave halfway through the day. I didn't even stay the full day because I just got so much. I ran out of batteries, ran out of cards. I was like, Always right. bring extras. Yeah, yeah. No, I brought all of them and they all got filled. They all got filled up and all the batteries died. And it was just all right. Mm. I'm I'm done for the day. <laughs> it was just it was just nonstop, especially Katsukon and uh, oh, yeah. especially with the Gaylord. You know, down there down there by the fountain, everybody just. They always have like the big, uh, um, the huge meetup, huge like, meetup at the, of the cosplayers like, down there. Oh yeah. It's like, okay, all the Kylo Reds get up there and take a picture. All right. All of the so-and-so get up there and get your picture. Yeah. Definitely and, the gazebo and the fountain are the two big ones. Yeah. The gazebo. Yeah. The gazebo where the escalators are. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I mean, you have it, to have spots reserved for that gazebo. Right. Yeah. And so it was just a matter of like me and my buddies, they would like grab somebody like, Hey man, can we, can we, can you, can we pull you over to this corner real quick, do some quick poses. And I'm just filming this person and I'm filming the next person. And then mm -hmm. like hours are going by, like, like my vision's gone. My eyes are exhausted. Oh yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Just muscle fatigue in the eyes oh, yeah, from definitely. filming just nonstop filming. But I mean, it's, but it, you know, it's, it's a fun escape and, uh, I wish my wife could get into it. She is not into Star Wars or comics or superheroes at ah. all. Except for maybe Wonder Woman and Jessica Rabbit. You know, well, those... there you go. Cosplay <laughs> so... is Wonder Woman and Jessica Rabbit. Right. Go have fun. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, Mario. She's like a big Mario fan. And so she's, she'll dress up like a, a female Mario. And I'm like, oh, why don't you just dress up like Princess Peach? She goes, you don't, you don't identify me. I'm going to dress up like whatever I want. I'm like, yep, you're right. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah. 
got you. Yeah, you're yeah, good. You got it. This is your world. So, no, but I mean, you know, like, uh, I'm excited to get the kid out there in like maybe a couple years. Hopefully this web series gets picked up and, yeah. you know, we start doing bigger things and, uh, you know, get the kid out there like at three to dress up like, like something goofy and oh. have fun with it. A little Goomba running around. Oh. Yeah, a little Goomba. Yeah, a little... Is that the is that the mushrooms? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Well, Justice, I can't thank you enough for coming on. I'm excited for the uh, the Douglas School, the Tom Savini's course. Nice. That that sounds like a blast. I'm a huge fan of his work, and I can't. And I'm a huge fan of yours. I, I can definitely oh, I can definitely you. see you, uh, you know, uh, you know, taking taking Tom Savini's kind mm -hmm. of you know thing to the to the next level, to the Justice Jones level. Like I just uploaded my food project which is a which is the humanoid bat it i just put it up on my instagram i don't know if you have time to pull it up oh yeah i do all right let's find this thing you it should be the most recent one on on instagram yes oh shit okay yeah definitely gotta put that up that took a while to make. Those wings took about two weeks because they're hand sewed and hand painted. Okay. And none of that's edited. Like that's just raw picture. Wow. Yeah. It was very cold and very rainy. We're in a graveyard. We're like, that's, okay, three shots. I'm going back in the car. I'm cold. Especially in Manassan. Man Man Manessen. This wasn't in Manessen. This was. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. We have no idea where we were. We're like, yeah, good enough. Let's drive the hour back home. <laughs> Jeez. No, that's that's gnarly, man. I think there's so, um, so you said food. So you said food had to be incorporated, yes. Oh, I think right. um actually like on the photo where the little arrow is. Here? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And was that spaghetti coming out of your mouth? Yeah, we didn't put enough food color in it. There should be a close-up of my face on there. On that little arrow that's on the picture. Oh, okay. I, uh, I see. Oh, wow. And those are contact scleras. I made the nose prosthetic. I made the teeth out of thermal beads and E6000 and paint. Home Depot? <laughs> Home Depot Pretty and Giant. <laughs> Pretty much. So you shot this when? When did you complete uh, this? Uh, Saturday, actually. Yeah, because your I because your hair is still same color, so I figured it was like yesterday <laughs> or the day before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's gnarly, man. Yeah, that's just awesome. a normal day at Douglas. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's that's got to be the life. I wish I got in. I wish I got more into stuff. See, uh, see, there was a bunch of cosplay that we had to do for very specific characters in our web series, and so I just started mapping out. Okay, all the goodwills and all the thrift shops mm -hmm. near me, and then near my buddy in Virginia, and we just went in there with like twenty bucks. We went in there. Well, yeah, maybe more like ten bucks per store. Just started grabbing like some bizarre. And let me mm -hmm. see it. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can uh, find it here. So there was a, there was another. Oh, I got to go back to my show. So, you know, it's hard to it's hard to d direct and host a podcast and go on Google, and I got to like switch this shot and switch that shot and the share and the not and then stop share. But all right, so <laughs> yeah, right, Mal like triple tasking. Uh, let's see. There was an episode. No, that was it. I passed it. Yeah. So, Bruno Mannheim. So I played, I played Bruno Mannheim because I had my guys in this. So okay. So now this is the DC universe version, and let's see here so he's playing lyle bolton who's the warden of arkham asylum right so obviously he's an he's the he's an expert on the criminal he's talking about uh, all right so bruno where's bruno all right so here we go so that's one guy playing him and then there's me playing jeremiah arkham 
Nice. But also at the same time, I'm playing Bruno Mannheim in the reenactment. We found like this great coat. So and it's like you got to play like 17 different people, smoke a cigar, oh, yes. you know, smoke a cigar, this this huge like pinstriped coat that we got for like three bucks at a, at a Goodwill nice. thr thrift shop. Goodwill and thrift stores, you find the most bizarre, awesome things in there. You do. You do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to grab. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so Lyle Bolton is, ends up being a vigilante by the name of uh, Lockup. He's like Jeremiah, Jeremiah, he's like Jeremiah Arkham's enforcer in Arkham. Nice. So there's like, a, so even, so say this was, there's even like a subplot within the, the web series, the, 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 the crime show, because Jeremiah Arkham, he's not a good guy. But we know that. Reading the comics, we know Jeremiah Arkham's not a good guy. But within Gotham, in that world, they, they consider him, you know, like he's the founder and director of Arkham Asylum. He's a shrink. You know, people assume that he must be, you know, a good guy. But there's like multi layers there. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But yeah, I mean, uh, thrift stores, we just went around thrift stores just buying up all sorts of bizarre stuff um oh yeah that's always fun then you yeah. come to the counter like salvation army for one of the shoots i did i had to buy a, a wedding dress so i found a wedding dress and i looked behind the counter and there was an axe i said how much for the axe 10 bucks i'll take that too 10 bucks so i bought a wedding dress and an axe so i'm walking out with the wedding axe and dragging an axe <laughs> to my car and i said this is going to be hard to explain. Yeah. Was that for, so was that for a wet, uh, was that for a real wedding or for, uh, <laughs> it was for a wedding shoot. Okay. Did you incorporate the ax in the wedding shoot? Yes, actually I did. It was <laughs> very cool. I had my friend lay down and just got a shot and you see her arm just laying there. And it's me in the wedding dress, long hair, standing on a fire, standing next to a fireplace holding the axe so do you blood all over it do you do a lot of wig stuff too yes i have yeah. so many wigs i love wigs okay. especially it's great with my shaved head mm -hmm. i don't need a ball cap i don't need a wig cap just plop that baby on and we're good yeah yeah hell yeah hell yeah all right well, Justice, I, again, I can't thank you enough for coming on. A lot, lot of thank cool stuff. Thank you for stuff. having me. I, and I think you're, you're the first cosplayer. So, you know, like I, I reached out to a bunch of the other cosplayers that I had worked with mm -hmm. that I, you know, I photographed you and, and a bunch of other guys and gals over at the numerous Comic Cons before. So you're the first one on and it was fun talking makeup. Woo! <laughs> and, and, uh, and, you know, I'm ex and again, I'm excited about the, the Tom S Savini course and I can't wait. Like you already have a lot of great work. You know, I'm definitely going to keep updates on my like Instagram. Like, yeah. Like, I take photos and videos of all the looks I do. Like, I did frostbite on my hand. I did a fourth degree burn on my hand, which I still have because that all came off in one piece. It was great. I'm definitely going to uh, upload updates and see how I progress during the two years that I'm here. And, th and that's, a, and, and you raise a good point. Like, it came off and you can reuse it. And that's like mm -hmm. something that, from a filmmaker standpoint, like, hey, uh, you know, we got a wrap for today. The actor's not going to be available for, you know, three days, but the actor's coming back. We got to finish the scene. Right. Yeah. What's the so simplicity? Exactly. So either continuity of completely reapplying it from scratch, or mm -hmm. if you can take that thing off and it fits like a glove, then the, con the continuity is there. Like there's a trillion different things that you have to keep in mind as like a, oh, yeah. a director, right. an AD, makeup props. Yeah, it's like, can I reuse this? Is this going to break? If it doesn't work, what is another alternative? Mm -hmm. Are the props going to be okay? If it doesn't get destroyed, do we have a backup? If we don't have a backup, what's plan B? Yeah. So it's definitely a lot of components. Plan B, plan C, plan D, you know? And Pretty much the entire alphabet. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll pay more money, but that's got to work or if it's cheaper then yeah we'll redo it over and over and over right. but if it, but if it's more money then let's make 
more money work for us in such a way that it's simpler it's turnkey mm -hmm. you can take it off like a glove put it back on like a glove that right yeah there's all these different all these different ways of doing one thing there's 20 different ways of doing that one thing oh yeah it's tricky man oh, it's it's tricky well justice awesome work thank you so uh much. costumes makeup props i mean making guns out of uh duct tape and cardboard baffling honestly it's baffling to me i would i just got bored <laughs> <laughs> well I again got bored. yeah well well justice uh it was great having you on um you know i Thank can't wait to me. i can't wait to see what's down the road let's say a year from now um try maybe get you back on and, and see some some new Heck work yeah. and some new instagram posts and new photos um yeah i learned a lot um especially about prop making and 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 uh, how to make guns out of cardboard so <laughs> That's that's more down my my route, you know. Maybe like like not crazy makeup and hair and and but uh you know like uh, props is is mm -hmm. like a little side side thing and and, and some costume mm -hmm. stuff like 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 you said like, like I showed you we were able to pull off a little few things with with some right. thrift store shops because uh, you know like going most times you go to these comic cons and we're looking for cosplayers. Everybody's Captain America. Yeah. Everybody's Captain Marvel. E there's a there's a whole day dedicated to just the the Spider Men and Spider mm -hmm. Women, right? So there's only so much footage I I can get of the same Spider Man and Spider Woman and Captain America. Right. But but every once in a while we'll get like somebody found somebody dressed up like you know like I see you dressed up like Scarlet Witch one time and I I could use that because I don't have enough of that. There's a million right. Batman. There's a million Supermen. There's a million Wonder Women. It's all, definitely the side characters. Yeah, every all of a sudden everybody wants to be Harley Harley Quinn, you know. But you know, oh, yeah. four years ago there wasn't that many Harley Quinns. Maybe a couple of the original originals where she was dressed up like right. a full Harlequin outfit. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, like some of the characters of the web series is like Bruno Mannheim. Who the freak is that? You know, or right. Penny or Penny Plunderer or Ratcatcher. All of a sudden, Ratcatcher is going to be a character in the next Suicide Suicide, suicide Squad movie. Ratcatcher is, but before that, mm -hmm. no one ever heard of this guy Ratcatcher. So we, right. I had to, I had to find a gas mask, and I had to find like a weird trench suit with like, uh, it looks like a scuba, it looks like a, a scuba, scuba tank, scuba tank, but it's really this poisonous gas that that he em oh. he, he emits um, with a, nice. and he's got a gas mask and goggles and you know rats following him, and so we had to figure out like we had to do our own kind of makeshift cosplay for 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 yeah. that character because our our main the main characters of each episode are we we chose to go super obscure mm -hmm. but then trying to find a cosplayer of that obscure character but it's hard is hard but who's beating that guy up batman or superman right. or spider-man or captain america is beating up these obscure characters so it's good to have plenty of footage of the main yeah. guys because it's usually the main guys that are beating up or killing our obscure characters so right you know it, it, it still works it still works but but uh yeah justice glad to have you on i can't wait to see what, what 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 you put together in the next year or two and and uh definitely have you on again um yeah get some, please have get, me again <laughs> yeah get some up get some updates get some progress i mean there's only so much we can do in the quarantine but it's a it's right. not, it's not you know how what's the phrase it's not what you have, but how you use it, right? Exactly. So, yeah, man. Uh, great having you on. I learned a lot to my viewers. Thank I you. hope I've earned the privilege of your time and viewership. I know my guest has. And until next time, you know what to do. Bye. Thank you.